Hi folks, Tim here again from High on Cheap Tech. A uh, little short video on the Alcatel. And why it looks like it's going to get to go back into service as my daily driver. And that's because it gets security updates. All the time. So we're going to talk about that today. And how I got a security update and I'll show you that. And we'll discuss its pros and cons versus the G3 which is still got a brighter screen, way brighter in daylight. But let's do the intro and we'll discuss that after uh, we get the Alcatel on camera. All right, folks, here we go. <coughs> the uh, Alcatel 7, once again, Surprise me. We got a new update today. Uh, under about phone here. You will see. Let's see. Uh, July 1st, 2019 security patch came through today. And uh, that's pretty cool, I think. That is, you know, and we're running Android 8.1. And there you go with the Oreo. And I don't know what that little gizmo serves as far as anything else goes. But, uh, so it's still getting updates. How many phones that are this old? And I'm not even on T Mobile. And I'm getting. Security patch updates. Uh, that says a lot about the uh, company making it, you know? It's uh, good stuff there. I don't know why we're not getting there. We're getting some decent focus. Uh, having a lot of trouble getting the front firing flash to work today. I don't know. The settings on the, on the uh, Axon M are sometimes kind of wonky and it's just barely hanging in here so the fact that we're getting anything is really good and so I'll, on that note I'll let you go because there really isn't anything to tell I am loving the uh, and, uh, whoops the ability to swipe and have my uh, kind of Google-like interface or similar interface to the Mobile G3. What I will say about the Mobile G3 is the display is still brighter, but I'm thinking I went ahead and installed Cyber Hunter on this, and even with 2 gigs of RAM, I was able to play it. So I'm not going to show you any game footage. Just wanted to give you an update on getting updates on the Alcatel 7. Uh, we're going to be swapping this out. This is going to be our daily driver again. Right now it's just sitting on the charging stand, but the charging stand isn't plugged in. Uh, that's all we got. So remember, read the description below as usual. And uh, if you found this at all helpful, entertaining, informative. Uh, just remember, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave some feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching.